picture we have here. Come in. I've not had a visitor in days and uh, you look just like the thing I need right now. Now, take those shoes off. I don't like any mess in my house, unless I'm the one creating it. You can join me if you'd like. I don't bite, unless you want me to. <laughs> now, you look like you are exhausted. What have you been up to? Hmm? And why are you wandering these long, quiet streets? Don't tell lies. I don't believe you. Such a handsome man shouldn't be alone on a Saturday night. In fact, he should never be alone. So your car broke down, did it? Okay. Whereabouts? Shall we go out and have a look? No. Why not? Are you hiding something from me, mister? Come on, don't be so shy and take me to your broken car. Mummy would like to see it. <laughs> I only joke. So, what brings you out here then? A date, was it? Or were you just snooping, waiting to see me come out of my home? You know, you're not the only one that's come knocking. There's been a few. They hear about this rumour of this glam older woman who just... who welcomes everyone in. And they're enamoured. They think, what will happen if I go in? Well, I mean... You're in now, so you shall see. Although, never had anyone as handsome as you pop through, so I might have to go off-road for a moment. Wine, darling. Oh, come on. Have a glass of red. Why don't you just treat yourself for once? Sometimes it's not about the taste but the texture. How about I help you advance your palate? Hmm? I shall treat you to a glass of red, darling. You'll enjoy it so much. After all the stress of your car breaking down, of course, and you having nowhere to go. Don't lie to me now. Who was she? Really? I don't want to be jealous, I barely know you, but I would hate to think that I could never be your first choice. Hmm? Oh, you dropped her off. Now, Linda doesn't mind, but if her father found out that you snuck her out and in to the house I think he'd have you um... anyways we shouldn't think about that and you should definitely not go there again unless you want me to tell Arthur her father no blackmailing darling I'm very exhausted you see it's, it's ten past ten I was just about to, um, pull myself a nightcap and watch something on the telly. It's been awfully quiet for the last few weeks, you see, so I was feeling slightly, uh, asunder. And then you knocked on the door and now I'm, I'm filled with electric. I'm charged, as they say. Now come sit. I will pour you a Merlot. A gorgeous blend from the French Riviera. It's a 1989 bottle. My ex-husband bought it for me, actually. I mean, 
He was an awful man, but great taste in wine. However, you seem like you have an awful taste in wine, but a great taste in women. But if you'd like me to get you anything, please let me know. I'd hate for you to sit here uncomfortably. Have a drink and maybe we can call a late night mechanic. However, there's plenty of room in the main bedroom where I reside. Right next to me. Don't worry, we can build a, a pillow wall if you need. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Why don't you just take a seat first? Hmm? And why don't you let me warm you up? It's awfully cold out there. And you in your flannel shirt. That's not going to provide you any heat now, is it? Oh, look at you. You're just... You're just so dishevelled, aren't you? Oh, I just want to take you in my bosom and just keep you there for as long as possible until you're warm and... Ready. You know, ready to uh, leave, to go, to go back to your, to your car and to your home. Oh, aren't you just the sweetest thing ever? How old are you? Wow. And you work in finance. Oh no, you're a painter. Oh, yes. Great with your hands, are you? What do you think of this art in this, um... In my home? Bit outdated, isn't it? I'd love to see what you can create and maybe we can strike up a deal. I'd love my house to be redone. This is all the stuff that my awful husband had chosen back in the day. I'm ready for something new. Something fresh. You know? And it's almost kismet because you've just fallen right onto my lap. Onto Mummy's lap. Oh, I only call myself Mummy because I'm looking after you now, aren't I? You are lost and in need of aid. And I am here wanting to aid you. How does that feel? Just want to make sure you're nice and warm, you know. Oh, come on, don't be so... No, don't say thank you. You keep thanking me. For what? I just opened the door and allowed you in to just relax. You need to relax. Look, I've got an idea. I have a level two certificate in massaging. Why don't I take you upstairs and just, you know, rub your shoulders slightly? That way, you know, in the meantime, while we wait for this mechanic, you'll feel less stressed. Do you need to call anyone? You know, to make sure everyone knows you're safe. A wife, perhaps. Oh, I know. The trials and tribulations of modern day dating. A wife at home. Girlfriend on dates. And an older woman. When things go wrong. Let's go upstairs. Let me rub you down. And then maybe in a few minutes someone will turn up. And if not. We can just continue having fun. <laughs>